Welcome to this week's forecast. We're now in the second week of May. Maybe we'll get some better weather around here. Utah has been pretty wild. It gets like the 70 degrees day, then drop to like 20 degrees in the afternoon. And the other day it was just snowing here. Crazy, right? Just a reminder that for those in the Facebook group, you already have an entire month of forecast. And I go into more detail in this video. So let's take a look at it generally. If you're in a hurry, you can jump to the trading section or stay here and watch the full video because you wouldn't want to miss any of the detail for this week. So let's take a look at this week generally. I'll focus more on the trading aspect later. So feel free to jump to that section if you're in a hurry or stay here and watch the whole thing because you wouldn't want to miss any of the detail. So today is Sunday. The luck from Saturday spill over onto Sunday. You can pretty much do everything today. A small caveat about seeing your family, which is strange because today's Mother's Day. So I guess be careful when you see your mother and be nice to her. Monday is an okay day. 50-50 chance of success. Saksha a great day for ladies. Pedicure and Medicare are both on the good luck list. It's also a good day to go see a doctor or dentist or other medical professional. So if for some reason you pissed off your mother the previous day, today is going to be the day to make it up to her on Monday. Now the downside would be those that trade in the market, and those that have business deal going on, running a business in general. Tuesday is a don't do anything day, just kind of stay home and chill. You end up encountering a lot of unnecessary problems that day if you go out. Even you have to just go to work, stay in your normal routine, go straight to work and go home after work. Don't go drinking after work or do any activity outside your normal day-to-day -day path. Now Wednesday is an interesting day. Almost everything is bad, except, except going to see your family and also taking a bath. Doing these activities will help turn it around and give you the boost you need to get through the day. Thursday is an excellent day. 90% of the activity will be excellent. But wait, what about the last 10%? Well, moving is bad. Farming, hunting, fishing are all bad. It only affects a small minority of the folks out there. So most of you can enjoy the day regardless. Friday is an okay day, which means there's something you can do and other things you shouldn't be doing that day. So a lot of things are great that day, including going on an interview, seeing the family, going on a trip, and getting married, also trading the market, and agricultural activity, except for fishing though. Well, what is bad then? Well, going to see a doctor is bad that day. Bad day to see a patient if you're a medical professional. Repair, construction, all bad. I mentioned fishing is bad too. So don't expect a very good catch that day. Oh yeah, we have another one of those prayer days on Saturday. So pray real hard in the morning for success because everything will be counting on that. This is going to be a rather bad day, but it is the weekend. And that is it for the general portion of the week. Now let's do a quick recap for the trader, investor, and gamblers out there. I wish I had more good news, but Monday is going to be a red day, erasing all the gain and momentum from the weekend after market. Tuesday, the pain kind of continues, no end in sight, at least for the following day. Wednesday is not any better, but it is a turning point for the market. So load up before the day end on Wednesday, because on Thursday, we're going to have a great day. The green is unstoppable, continuing for Friday. I'll be showered with cash on the weekend, unless you happen to pick one of those losers on the market. Watch my annual market forecast for the bigger picture. If you want to hear more forecasts, be sure to subscribe for next week's update. Do you want some bad luck this week? I don't think so. So just be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell. I'll personally send you some good luck your way. Because luck is the most powerful superpower in this world, according to Elon Musk. And check out my superpower right here. And I'll see you next time.